As we've seen on Detroit Performs, the city is a treasure trove of artistic talent and gifted minds. And painter and relief sculptor Gilda Snowden fits perfectly in that mold. Sadly, Ms. Snowden passed away not too long ago. It's only fitting we pay homage to her. Here she is in a segment taped in October 2003 for Detroit Public TV's Art Beat, hosted by Rob Maniscalco. What a wonderful studio space you've created in here. This is going to be a lovely one. I love this space. Yeah, this yes. is a really good work place to do art. I've been here for five years. Uh, prior to that, I was in Harmony Park, mm -hmm. and I moved here because I needed the light and the space and. But all um, of it. Yeah, the, the ability to. It's like to a kid in a candy store. Lay all my my things out to have mm. my work and my paints here, and then these these walls which I had built. Mm -hmm. And so now I should go over here and get this work. I want to show right. you some work yeah. that uh, I've been doing um, recently. Here's a piece that I had at the Cast Cafe in the. Uh, the Lorca Show, which was a collaboration between myself and my husband, William Boswell, he translated um, the Romancero Gitano series of paintings by Federico Garcia Lorca. I read the, the um, translations, and then I responded by doing these paintings. Right. Let's just set that one there. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And this is a part of a, a mini-series called The Sea of Made and Broken Promises. All of the paintings the titles of the paintings were lines from the poetry. Yeah. And so that's where I drew from. That's what I began to bounce off from. Mm -hmm. And I found a shape that I wanted to uh, repeat. And then I used the physicality of the paint in order to um, help flesh out the negative spaces and give a kind of um, uh, visual crunch to the uh, the overall picture. Wow! And then let's see what else you have here. We can put that here. Well, Be careful. I have lots of different things in here. Um, if you can follow me this way. Yeah. All right. What I'd like to show you is some of my earlier work that I have up, and I do that because I believe that my studio functions as a place of my own personal history. Mm -hmm. So I have. The tornadoes, I have the sculpture, I even have several works of paintings and sculpture that I did when I was a student at Wayne State. And I like to be reminded of that work. I like to confront my past as much as possible. Yeah, well it's all who you are, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that's, you know, that's interesting. You know, we all talk about our roots and our connection with our own history, and right. we all talk about the history of our, our culture that we come from and all that. Well, not only my own history, but you notice that I have a lot of books, and this only represents a portion of my library. So I have books on artists, on art history, and I use these in preparing for my classes at uh, CCS. Yeah. And this is some more work, and these are more of the tornado series of pictures, and also a series of landscapes that are from the tornadoes, because after all, tornadoes live in a landscape. Yes. Well, your tornadoes kind of include a little terrestrial as well as the sort of the center of the storm. Yes, I try to see as many different ways of utilizing that format as possible. Thank you, Gilda, for your art and soul. To find out more about Gilda Snowden and all of the other Detroit Reform artists, visit the Detroit Reform's website. I hope you've enjoyed today's celebration of women in the arts. There are definitely a ton more, and we promise we'll bring them to you in upcoming episodes. As for today's show, that wraps it up. For more arts and culture, head to DetroitPerforms.org, where you'll find featured videos, blogs, and information on upcoming arts events. Also, check us out on Facebook and Twitter. I'd like to thank the Review Gallery for letting us come by here today and explore the exhibition of Timothy Van Lahr, and a big shout out to Wayne State print media professor Pamela DeLora. Until next Tuesday. Get out there and show the world how Detroit performs, y'all. I am DJ Oliver. Thanks for watching, guys.